Quick plug, Ola, I'm Mike LaFontaine, owner and founder of High Class Management. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Comics constant companion. Let's start right out. Hey, what happened? As you know, back in 1970, I started on a series called What Happened? And every time something would go wrong, I would look at the camera and say, Hey, what happened? <laughs> we had a lot of fun with that and a lot of other catchphrases. I got a real red wagon. <laughs> and uh, I can't do my work. And I believe I was the first one to use the phrase, I don't think so. But it only lasted a year, and that's good because that's how you establish a cult. So I was on stage doing all my shtick, you know, hey, what happened? And I can't do my work. And if someone would heckle me, that they'd say, are you going to be on stage all night? I would say, that's right. And that'd crack up the audience. But I noticed a guy sitting down front with a long face. Nothing got to him. So I turned to the lady next to him. I said, would you hold your mirror up in front of his nose to see if he's still breathing? To see, in fact, if there's a reflection. So he started to smile. After the show, I go down and introduce myself. His name is George Menchel. He had been with a group called the Main Street Singers. Now, I was never into fo folk music. I'd worked some bills with some folkies, you know, put them in the cell with a long hose on him, put them in the cell with a long hose on him. And I used to say, if he's got a long enough hose, uh, he's going to have a lot of friends in the shower room. Uh, <laughs> folk audiences hated that joke. But I said to George, I said, seriously, uh, you put up some great numbers. If you reform your group, I can send you out on the Starfish cruise lines. Together we could make a fortune and you will have a ball. They used to go out, come back. They had a great time. Uh, except a couple of cruises, dysentery broke out on the ship. I was not there. You do not want to be on a cruise ship when dysentery breaks out and be knocking on the men's room door and say, will you be coming out soon? And here, I don't think so. 